All right, let's, uh, oh, well, this is a nice story. You know, the, um, being a member of the Donald Trump cabinet uh, can be a short-lived experience, ladies and gentlemen, as I think uh, there are dozens and dozens of people who know. However, it can also be a lot of fun. Um, as you remember, uh, Tom Price had to resign in September because of his repeated use of chartered airplanes. Uh, David Shulkin, the um, VA chief, uh, rumored to be on the chopping block, had a 10-day uh, uh, European trip that uh, he paid for his wife's expenses with uh, tax dollars. Uh, EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt has been uh, taking a lot of first-class air uh, trips as of late and spent um, $43,000 on a cone of silence that uh, drops down, I think, from the uh, ceiling, or maybe he walks into a booth when he's making phone calls uh, so that it's, uh, they're totally secret. And uh, Ben Carson spent $32,000, or was going to, uh, a dining set. And um, apparently public records released this week show that Ben Carson not only knew about it, but was actually asking his wife for input on uh, the redecorating of his office, including that um, dining set. That is a sweet dining set. I got to say, 31 grand is well, it's $31,561. I would say that's close to $31,500 uh, more than I've ever spent on a dining set cuz you can get a nice set of uh of forks and knives. Plates 61 bucks. Here is Ryan Zinke um being questioned by uh was this um uh, Maria Cantwell in um, a Senate oversight uh, hearing as to uh, his um, reported flights to Vegas on a uh, chartered plane. And he is just enraged. We're looking at it. But what clearly is the case is we have an $11.7 billion backlog the greatest bargain in America is the $80 a year pass. Well, I'll pause it for one second. He is uh, explaining why they have begun to charge uh, money um, for uh, going around to the national parks. And um, here he is saying the greatest bargain in America is the $80 uh, pass. This, of course, is going to be is the precursor to privatizing these parks so that they become under the auspices of... Uh, you know, I don't know, Disney, uh, Disney. Six know. Flags Grand Canyon. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Disney exactly. Yellowstone. Right. <laughs> My kids to the theater and after going to the, paying the ticket to the theater and having popcorn, it's more than $80. And this is a pass all year around. So we're looking at ways to make sure that revenue coming the door of our principal parks is, is appropriate, making sure we still have value. Uh, because American parks belong to the public, they belong to all Americans, and everyone should have access. Well, we definitely think we should be increasing access, not de not uh, disincentivizing it. So, um, I want to ask you about this issue about the agency and spending money on things that may not be in the public's interest. You took a private jet home from Las Vegas. Do you think that was a mistake? Well, first, insults in your windows are misleading. I never took a private jet anywhere. The previous secretary spent 80 trips of just under a million dollars. I took three trips. One of them was with the, the senator, your, your chair, on a prop plane. A second one was with the governor of, of the Virgin Islands and the prime minister, again, a prop jet in between islands to make sure that we were on time. And the third was to take a King Air late at night after traveling all the way across Nevada, giving a pilt to go to, to meet an 8 o'clock in the morning meeting with the governor of Montana for the governor's conference. So I resent the fact of your insults. I resent the fact they're misleading. I resent the fact that doors, and I'll go through line <laughs> by line. You know what? I also is that Sally Jewell, I think she was right. 
I think her travel patterns, even though she took a private chartered airplane, was met by a helicopter, did a hike, I think she was right because as interior, she was out hiking and doing what she was supposed to be doing. So given that a, a flight from the North Slope down to Anchorage with the chair to allege it's a private jet I, is I, inappropriate. Well, ma'am. Mr. Secretary, I've given you ample time and I simply asked you a question about the private jet trip to Vegas. I guess we'll ask you in writing and maybe we'll get an answer. Yeah, and now he didn't address anything other than leaving Nevada on the Beechcraft King Air uh, and heading back to Montana. It's like the carpool lane, you know? It's it's not a private jet if there are two people in it. That's true. I guess it's not private at all if there's someone else in it. I mean, there's also the, the of course, the pilot has to be there. Yeah, no privacy at all. No privacy. You can't do all the crazy-ass things you want to do after Vegas.